Steve Ethel here, the creator, writer, and artist of the Western webcomic Long John that you can find at longjohncomic.com. Here with another process video uh, of something I drew on my on my iPad in Procreate. But it's a little different because this isn't fan art. This isn't related directly to Long John. This is more of like a kind of concept art, for lack of a better word, for a short story idea and I'll be plugging away at over the course of this year called Call Me Home, as you can see. Since this is an actual comic art and the story isn't really written yet, I'm not going to go into the, the plot details, but it's it's about a guy in the elements, as the image you saw at the beginning sort of showed. And it's a story idea I've had for a very long time. And and like I said, I'm, I'm actually going to be kind of jumping into doing it over the course of this year. And I decided to do that for a couple things. One, I'm not stopping Long John. Two, we'll see how far, maybe it's, maybe it's a failed experiment. We'll see how far I get. Uh, I've done some thumbnailing, and obviously I've done this concept art. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm a I'm a writer artist, as they say, right? I like to use the word comiker, c c o m i c k e r, which for me is a word that encapsulates the writer artist sort of moniker without having to separate it into two words. It gives it its own. It gives it its own word. Uh, I'm not saying it's better or worse than than people that just write or just draw, but that's all beside the point. The point is that because I am also a writer that draws my own work, it, it can get frustrating because I have a lot of stories I want to tell. And because of the nature of my day job, making Long John, this long form story, is really, really slow. And so I feel like I don't have a lot of time to actually tell other stories. And that was until I started thinking about the other uses of the iPad. Obviously... Um, the main thing was that I wanted, to, especially in, in this sort of coronavirus quarantine present that we live in, I'm going to be in front of my computer a long time with my day job, and while I'm in the middle of, you know, making a long john, I don't want to be spending eight hours a day in front of the computer teaching and grading and whatnot, and spend another four or five, six hours in front of the computer afterwards making comics. I hate sitting in front of the computer for that long. And so I'm like, well, with the iPad, it, at least when I get to the coloring stages, I can put that on the iPad and go downstairs and, and sit with my wife. <laughs> that made me realize that, what about when I'm not doing that? And so what I would like to do is that I'd still always want to be drawing, drawing as much as possible. But when I don't have coloring work to do, and I hopefully put in enough time on Long John itself, is that at night when we're just like hanging out, watching TV or watching movies, that I can just be sort of plugging away on shorter comics mini comics, one-shot comics that are just a short story, a tone piece, for lack of a better word, and that can be a way to kind of work on two things at once and actually put out more stuff a year. And when I started thinking of, of making comics that way, this idea came to mind because it is a very short story idea, very sort of very focused themes and, and presentation, and I'm really excited about it because it's also going to be a comic I do completely digitally. And so we'll see how that works out. This is kind of blending in sort of tone, style, and character design all in one piece. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to sharing more with you in the future. I'm Dan Bethel, and thank you for watching me draw. Mm -hmm.